going on guys this is uh terry mccree coming out of uh butler pennsylvania coming with you guys with another uh <clears throat> silicon mask review um just bear with me because i got you know a whole new camera source light source uh you know so i'm not really good at editing <laughs> so I'm, I'm getting i'm trying to get used to all this camera stuff but uh yeah, anyhow, um, so this review that I'm going to do is uh, on the Basement FX, um, Jeffrey Cox and them guys that out there, um, and I believe this certain mask is right around like 600, um, they are still in business, um, he is currently still making masks and stuff, I know a few people that made orders and they actually got their stuff in, um, I didn't get this mask straight from them. Um, I got this mask in the Silicon Community Group on Facebook. Shout out to you guys. Um, let's get a couple shout outs out the way. Shout out to David. What's going on, brother? <clears throat> shout out to Nando. What's going on, bro? Joseph Diaz. Uh, a few other people. Shane. Um, George. All the Immortal team. Arthur, my boy, Silicon Savage. Um, shout out to Evolution, shout out to all you guys, all the companies out there, and, uh, yeah, let's just, let's, let's dive, oh, shout out to, uh, Shadow Ellie, my boy, um, Adam, if you guys haven't checked out, um, uh, check out his, uh, YouTube channel, he does some really good editing and short order films, and, uh, you know, really cool guy, man, um, he's my Pennsylvania brother. But uh, yeah, let's get right in. So, like I said, bear with me. I got a new light source. Uh, you know, it's got a remote and all this other stuff. I don't know how this even looks. Um, yeah, kind of got it on. Yeah, we're just gonna keep the setting. <laughs> I'll play around with it more. So yeah, this is on Basement FX. I hope you guys can hear me okay. I got this little mic and everything. So. Let's see how we're going to, let's see how we're going to do this real quick. So I'd like to get as much, um, a much, much of this on the camera as I can. So we're going to move you in. I should have got one that zooms in and zooms out. This might do it. I don't know how to do that yet, guys. Back on my laptop. So this mask is, uh, where's my mic? <laughs> Sorry guys, I got all kind of stuff hooked up down here. So this mask is uh, the, the the man who laughs. And you could get, you could get them in all kind of different, um, different, uh, uh, the way you want them made and stuff like that. Very wicked creepy mask uh, let's see if we can uh, turn down some of this color a little bit let's see what happens I don't know I don't know if that looks good to you guys skin tone is is really good as you guys can see you guys can see a lot of a lot of vein work in this guy huge amount of vein work this has to be one of my favorite sculpts but I mean quite honestly they become all my favorite <laughs> sorry folks I'm still messing with this camera trying just trying to get us a good I don't want that You guys got any tips on how to do this feel free to uh, fill me in in the comments <laughs> but anyways so we're just gonna roll with it you guys can see the veining I mean the veining is insane one thing about um, one thing about basement FX is the details their their paint works got to be one of the best if not the best in my opinion um, these teeth are silicone also, 
Now the ori the other one, the original uh, man who laughs, it's just like a, it's the same sculpt, but it's just different as far as the teeth. It's human teeth, kind of like not human, but you know, teeth like ours. But it's also in silicone. It's not these sharp ones. This is all custom made for someone that ordered it that way. Um, the nose. It's a little damaged, I and mean, you guys can see a rip right here, but I mean, that's easy to fix. You know, I'll put some silpoxy that, and it'll be fine. But, um, yeah. The man who laughs. And this, this one has blood on it, as you guys can see. So yeah, we're gonna um, we're gonna try this guy on, so you guys can um, you know see how it looks. One thing I will tell you guys is that it's a tight mask. Um, I've had a few of their basement FX. I had the Morlock. I had the Cadaver. Um, I think that was it, and this will be my third one. Out of them two, them two were very comfortable. But I've heard from other sources that this guy is a very uncomfortable mask. <laughs> and it's uh, super tight. So, uh, the only thing I could say is that we tried on. But, um, I tried it on before. It wasn't, it wasn't as, ooh, that's way too. Oh, shit. Sorry, guys. I hit something and I'm not sure what I hit. Anyways, like I said, this is my first time using this thing. I'm sorry about the mask, not the damn light system. So yeah, let's take this off. Very thick. One thing I will tell you guys, this is a thick mask. And it's got weight on it, you know. It's a little heavier than what I'm. You, it's it's heavy, but it's not as heavy. I've I've had. There you, there you guys are. I've had um. I've had other masks. Um, they were a lot more heavier, but this one is heavy and tight. I always get nervous taking these off. You never, you never know. But this typical one, man, is it heavy? <laughs> it's just tight. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this guy on. So as you guys know, you know when you put it on, you put your hands in there like you're praying, and get a stretch to it. Just bear with me, because I like the somewhat pull the ears. Now, of course, um, you could play around, like, with the eyes. I'm not in front of a mirror, so I can't tell, you know. Good movement. It's tight in the neck. So, yeah. Like I said, this is the basement effects. Oh, 
Oh, and uh, it's tight, guys. Um, is it is it um is it comfortable? No, <laughs> it's tight. It's a tight fit, but um, as far as the the tightness goes and stuff like that, it's not something I I can't handle. Um, I had a mask from Savage Silicone. It was their first Gorgon that they did. And you guys want to... Now, that, that mask wasn't tight. But you want to talk about weight. That thing was about 12 pounds. No lie. Um, very thick mask. Movement was good, but it was heavy. This one here, it's a little bit tighter in the neck area. And um, it can... Like, it stops... It, like, when you turn your head, it kind of wants to force it to straighten back up. Um, smaller heads would probably do good with this. My head's a little big, but um, I can deal with it. Yeah, it's not that bad. But yeah, beautiful mask. So yeah, guys, I hope this camera worked out. Like I said, I can't really tell um, till I watch it. And um, stay tuned. I, I will have some live sh uh, videos coming up in. Um, Facebook, I'm going old school raw, you know, no editing, nothing like that. It's going to be, we're going to use Facebook Live, and I'm going to do some uh, interviews with the companies. And uh, so far, i got everybody down to do it, and uh, stay tuned for that. My first show coming up is going to be with Arthur from Savage Silicone. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. God bless, be safe.